Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying two dimensional shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two different shapes, and we simply need to find one statement that is true for both of them. All right, so let's open up our graph draw feature, and we're going to extend it out so it takes up the whole screen, increase the transparency so we, so we can see what's happening behind there. All right, so let us use the draw feature here, and let's label these two, right? So this this one's pretty easy. That's a rectangle. This other one is a little bit more difficult. Uh, you notice that we've got one pair of parallel lines, just one pair of parallel lines. The other two are not. And these two actually have right angles right here. So this is actually a trapezoid, but it's a special kind of trapezoid if we want to name it. It's called a right trapezoid. When we're thinking of trapezoids, typically we would think of something like this. And this is also a trapezoid. But a right trapezoid uh, still has two bases, right? They're parallel, but it has, instead of two slanted lines, one slanted line and then one perpendicular line. So let's take a look at these uh, descriptions here and see which one works best for both. Uh, shapes with only... hmm. Only parallel sides. Okay, only. So parallel is, well, it's always easy to, for me to remember parallel because I'm going to change colors here to kind of show the difference here. Think of these two L's in parallel. Uh, those two par L's in parallel are parallel because they are straight and they're the same distance apart and they never touch. So... I mean, the two bases in my rectangle are parallel, but not with the two other sides. These two sides are parallel, but they're not parallel with the, the reds and the blues aren't parallel. And then this right here is definitely not parallel with anything. Neither is this side right here. Uh, those two are not parallel. Now the top and the bottom are, the two bases are. So only makes me think this is not correct. It has some... If you said some, I'd be fine with it, but not only. Uh, shapes with only right and acute angles. Okay, now we're looking at angle measures. So a right angle is like this. It's a little square corner, perpendicular sides. This has got, look at that, all four right angles. We've already mentioned two right angles over here. Acute is anything less than 90, right? So that's acute. So this little guy is acute, uh, but look at this. This one is not acute. If you were to do a 90 degree angle, it'd be like that right there, and it's already larger than that. This is obtuse, so that is not going to work. If that said maybe mostly, I could have done that. Mostly would have worked. Shapes with obtuse angles. This has got one obtuse angle. There are no obtuse angles right here. So it's definitely not this one. All right, so let's hope it's D. All right, well, we've, uh, we've got uh, parallel. We already figured that one out right up here. And then perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular are right angles, right? These are perpendicular angles. The angle is right, but the lines are perpendicular. So perpendicular has right angles. And uh, do both shapes have perpendicular? Yep, right angles. Do both shapes have uh, parallel lines? Yes, two sets for the rectangle, one set for the trapezoid. So there we go. My answer is D.